Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Unusual. My name is Stephanie and my lifestyle is strange and unusual. You're joining me in my kitchen today. We are gonna be making a very fun winter treat. It's inspired by my dear friend, Sheila, who is also the person who edits my videos. She is a really big fan of cocoa and loves to melt peppermint sticks and put them in her cocoa. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make peppermint cocoa bombs. If I was making them for myself, I would use cinnamon starlets and I would use white chocolate cocoa because I don't actually like chocolate or peppermint, <laughs> but I really hate chocolate. But I love cinnamon and I love white chocolate. But we're making these for Sheila and Sheila loves cocoa and she loves peppermint. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to take a bunch of peppermint starlets and melt them down and we're gonna make a peppermint shot glass out of those. You can use the peppermint shot glass to fill it with schnapps and actually do kind of all kinds of things with it. In fact, you can melt down peppermint and mold it down and make lots of fun things with it. But we're going to be filling it with cocoa and we're gonna wrap them up real pretty. I'm gonna give them out as gifts to the people in my office and I'm also gonna be saving several for Sheila. So please join me today. Alrighty, welcome to my kitchen. These are the supplies that you're going to need. I got these packets of Scarlet Mints. I got three packages of these from the dollar store. I also got these boxes of Swiss Miss Cocoa. Uh, I got three boxes of that as well, also from the dollar store. And then I got these loop bags that I'm gonna wrap them in, again, from the dollar store. Then these I already had in the house. I chose to go with silver just because silver goes with everything. But if you were to buy these from the grocery store or if they had them at the dollar store, they are not very expensive. I was, however, out of baking paper, which is the other thing that you're gonna need. And that was $2.49 where I bought it. And then this is a honey jar. Most people would use a shot glass, but I wanna use this because I really like the pattern here. And I'm gonna try to get my glasses to look similar to this pattern if I can. So you just need to preheat your oven to 300 degrees, which I have already done. And then you're going to arrange your starlet mints in this flower formation. You need seven of them to do this. Then just pop it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. And I will be right back as soon as I've done that. Okay, I'd like to remind everybody that you are pulling melted sugar out of the oven, so please be very careful with it because unlike other hot things, when you touch sugar, it sticks to you. You can't get it off. My hands are pretty calloused from working with hot things, but please make sure that you are careful if you're underage. Please get an adult to help you and make sure because you are working with food that you wash your hands, scrub under your nails and your rings. I have a paper cut from the office, so I have that sanitized and covered. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I'm going to show you guys how I, I'm going to use this mold. I'm just going to take the candy and flip it. This is very hot, so I'm just being real careful with it. But you do want to work with it while it's hot. You don't want to let it cool down too much because it won't mold to the shape that you want if you let it cool down too much. and it will become brittle and it will break. So just be very, very careful while you're doing this. And there you go. This could be used as a shot glass or what I'm gonna use it for, which is cocoa bombs. So I'm gonna show you guys how I fill it and how I wrap it. It is the next day. Now I know I said that I was finished and that I wasn't going to be making the plate or the bowl because I didn't feel like it was very practical. I have the little monster. And then I went to work. I brought the cocoa bombs to work and everybody loved them and you will not believe what happened. A friend of mine made something very similar 
and she made a bowl and she used spearmint. Um, I'm going to show them to you, and it was, it's really cute. She put little chocolates in it. We had a very similar idea, and that inspired me to come home and go ahead and make the plate and some bowls myself, just, you know, for fun to put out when we had our company over. But then I kind of ran out of mints, so I'm just going to try to do the plate, which I think will be really fun. And I really wanted to show you that process with you guys. I have been watching a lot of Christine McConnell, who is basically who I want to be when I grow up. And oh, you have a cough. You have a cough, honey. She on her TV show on Netflix made an entire tea set out of chocolate. And as I was getting into before, when I was making the little peppermint shot glasses, there is an element of practicality. You've got to ask yourself, is it worth the money I'm spending on this? Sometimes it's less expensive to buy something instead of making it. And sometimes it's not worth the money it costs to make something. And, and is this a practical item that I'm making? Yeah, are you having fun? She likes vlogging with me. You've got to ask yourself, is this a practical thing that I'm making? Is it worth the money? Is it fit for purpose? So this plate that I'm making, it's not practical. It's not fit for purpose, but it'll be fun to display and have out when we have Christmas dinner. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm making it. I'm trying to be really careful with it. Ah! Oh, I lost a piece. I lost a piece. It's still pretty cute though. What do you think? I don't think I'm gonna peel that off the back. I mean, maybe I could. Yeah, that'll come right off. All right, I'm gonna put that on the dining room table. All right, I'm gonna get something fun to put on that. That'll look really nice when I set the table for our guests. Thank you for joining me on this little bonus that I decided to add to the video. I still would like it very much if you liked, subscribed, and commented. And hopefully I can grow this channel and get better equipment and make bigger projects and keep making wonderful things for you. Thank you so much for joining me.